Okay, some more Total Divas, and again, they pretty much stayed away from the ring entirely. On the bright side this week, dealt with Natalie and her Flex magazine. And of course, they got Summer Rae in to be the really horribly written heel. That's how she actually is in real life. She's a pretty bizarre person. She was like, oh, Flex magazine, that's a bodybuilder magazine for men, right? Yeah, because, you know, magazines designed for men never feature women in them. And she's 30. Yeah. <clears throat> Brie decided to horrify Nikki by showing her some of the here's how every factory farm is footage that you find. Which normally ends up being footage of the places that end up getting cited massive times and get large fines because what they're doing is actually illegal practices. But, you know. And then decided to take her to a place where you could watch free range chickens. We can play with the chickens. I don't know if you got to play with one, pick one out, and then they would slaughter it in front of you to show you how humanely the act of killing another creature actually is. That part was kind of meh. I get that the Brie and Brian are on the crunchier side, I get that, that's fine. But I also seem to recall that when Daniel Bryan started, he was a vegan. Now he's no longer vegan. So I'm probably assuming Brie probably did something that made him no longer a strict vegan. Maybe it had something to do too with that, that he was gaining more muscle mass and it might be more difficult traveling to maintain that level of physicality on a strictly vegan diet. I, I, I really don't know. <clears throat> so, while Natalie is gone for Flex Magazine and all the other, and some other things went along with it, she decided to let Cameron or Ariane watch her house. As... Based off what I've seen on the show, I think I've probably have been better off being like, hey, Trinity, yeah? Could you and your husband watch the house? Because I have a feeling you guys are probably kind of cool with things. So she pretty much goes through the house, makes fun of the way Maddie has her clothes, because she has lots of clothes. While, while, so, so while Maddie's away, Ariana more or less kind of throws a massive party and then loses one of her cats. Which of course gets to lead to a relatively humorous phrase. Has anybody seen Natalie's pussy? Referring to the cat. Beautiful double entendre. Thought it was nice. Worked well. <clears throat> so they pretty much threw a party and lose a game. Then freak out trying to find the cat. And for TJ and Natty, Natty's thinking this is a nice romantic weekend. TJ brings along his sister. They drop the bomb about how she needed five grand to buy a bouncy castle as an investment. Never thought of a bouncy castle as an investment, but, you know, lots of people do make decent money when it comes to renting those sorts of things out. So those two had another one of their minor breakdowns, but then when they both sat down and actually talked about it like adults, they came to mutual understanding and agreement. And then it's kind of like, aww, you two are kind of a cute couple. You're hardworking, you're great in the ring. You both seem to kind of be missing that it fact that's going to take you from being you know, really fantastic professional wrestlers into the sports entertainment side. But you know, they, they decided to kiss and make up. And I'm almost thinking that Natalia maybe needs to occasionally tell her husband, we're going to go on this trip. Okay, that's great. I can, no, 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 no. You and I are going to go on this trip to do things that our therapist said we need to do to enhance the intimacy in our relationship. Instead of just being like, we're going to go to New York. Great. My sister's never been to New York. She can come with us. I am an awesome individual. I'm kind of like John Cena, but the IWC actually likes what I can do in the ring because I have a much more wider breadth of moves. <clears throat> 